So, um, in addition to uh, the age structure, so it also shows, or the discussion for age structure um, also includes the um, life expectancy of organisms, particularly between male and female, or their variation. So generally, um, it is being known that males, specifically for animals, males have shorter lifespan than females. So this particular um, generalization, okay, um, that the shorter life expectancy of males can be a result of both physiological and behavioral factors. For example, um, in social hierarchy or acquisition of mates, there are certain populations of organisms where in males have rivalries with dominant positions, especially for social animals. However, in terms of birds naman, male usually outnumber females due to um, increased mortality of nesting females which are more susceptible to predation and attack. Especially, uh, most of the females are responsible for taking care of their young, uh, providing food for their young. So in search for food, in protecting their young, most of them are very susceptible to um, death, especially if there are predators uh, within the population, or um, they might they might be um, uh, struggle as they search for their food. Okay, so. There are also uh, what we saw called uh, reproductive table, wherein it shows the age-specific summary of reproductive rates in a population and describes the reproductive patterns of a population. So, ibig sabihin, nakikita dito yung ano yung reproductive age, for example, ng isang population. For example, in this table, it shows you their age range. Okay, there's a specific age range in here and the different uh, parameters that you are going to check. So, for example, if they have the mean size of litters, so as you, as um, an individual in the population or an organism increases its age, so darating siya sa punto na ang nagtataas ang mean size ng litters niya. So, and um, uh, it does not follow as they, they age up to a specific higher years. In this case, medyo bumababa siya habang patanda ng patanda yung organism. So in this case, you can see that this particular age here, 4 to 5 years, is uh, the peak of what we so-called reproductive rates. Where dito yung um, tinatawag na uh, peak ng reproduction. Okay. Although there are already a mean size here increase, but ito yung peak na makikita mo. Because after this one, may trend na ng pagbaba. Okay? So makikita mo rin that this is the particular peak. For example, if you have this case, and dito din yung peak ng mean number of females in the litter and the average number of female offspring. Okay? So in this case, um, tinitingnan yung Yung female, it is because this is reproductive table. So, the reproduction within the, the population is being checked in comparison or in line with um, the age structure of the different um, individuals or, oh yeah, individuals in the population. So, one of the dynamics that is being um, observed in a population is what we so call the population growth. So it refers to how the number of individuals in a population increases or decreases. So in demography, for example, in humans, which is also applicable in animals, um, population is a population growth is a, a function of natality and mortality. Okay, so an ilan yung birth rate, ilan din yung death rate, isan yung 
na dadagdag sa population, ilan din yung um, nababawas mismo sa population. Okay? So, as have we have discussed um, also in the previous slides that um, which primarily affects population density, hindi din natin maiaalis sa population growth yung tinatawag na may uh, migration, you have emigration, and you have the immigration. Okay? That is part also of the dynamics which contributes to what we so-called population growth. So population growth is controlled by first birth, uh, birth rate and immigration. Ito yung dalawang factor na nag add ng individuals within the population. And of course, if you have adding to the population, meron din namang factor or means on how to or how, how um, to reduce the number of individuals in the population, which is a function of death and, of course, immigration, which is the moving out away or away from the population itself. Okay. In terms of population growth, meron, um, I have three, three examples of population growth model. So first, we have the exponential growth model. So the rate of expansion of a population under ideal condition. Ibig sabihin, the resources are available, the environmental, uh, para, uh, environmental condition is favorable for reproduction. So it will, you will expect that there is an increase in the population. So ibig sabihin, the trend here is pataakyat ng paakyat. Kasi nga, there are resources as well as environmental conditions supports okay, is favorable to the increase of the population. So as you can see, tinatawag din itong j curve na model kasi uh, you have an increase in the population. So it can be expressed in the equation, g is equal to r and n. r is the intrinsic rate of increase. So, ibig sabihin, if you have or if you are looking for the natality, birth rate, and death rate, mas mataas yung birth rate kumpara sa death rate in this case. Kasi nga, tumataas ang tumataas ang population. Okay? So, bumaba ba ang death rate dahil maganda ang condition ng environment at merong um, enough resources to support the population. Okay? Kung sa tao naman ito, kung i-apply natin itong exponential growth curve, mataas na yung, or maganda yung healthcare, for example, okay, so, um, tumahaba ng humahaba yung life expectancy ng humans, kaya, um, kukonti lang yung death rate. At of course, since nakakasuporta na yung, 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 for example, may resources na available to support the population, tumataas naman, tumataas yung birth rate. So, that is exponential growth model. We have also the logistic growth model. Itong model na to, ito ay sumusunod sa tinatawag na um, carrying capacity. Ibig sabihin, yung population growth ay na, na nalilimit mismo ng isang factor which is um, the factor that determines the carrying capacity of an area. Okay? So, sinasabi din na a more realistic growth model as it takes into account yung, nga, yung carrying capacity. So, if you will try to um, graph this or to express this in an equation, you will see that there is already an equation um, a constant uh, factor which is the carrying capacity of the population. So, tinatawag ditong S-shaped curve kasi um, if you have this, for example, this is the number of population that is within the carrying capacity. So, ibig sabihin, ayan, so, nalilimit or ibig sabihin dito, constant na yung number of population that is within the carrying capacity of the area. So, ibig sabihin dito, anong implication nito? So, if you have the intrinsic factor like of birth rate and of death rate, ibig sabihin, nag-equal na yung birth rate dun sa death rate. So, ibig sabihin dito, wala ka na makikitang increase. Kasi if you try to have those factors, 
birth rate minus death rate, kung equal sila, you will expect that that would be zero. So, ibig sabihin, nagiging constant yung number of individuals within the population. Okay? So, ang problema naman dito, if continuous pa rin, umaakyat, then the carrying capacity, dun ka na mag-aano ng competition with the natural resources available, um, pwede yung magkaroon ng pollution, yung mga ganun. So, competition, predation, yung mga ganun klaseng event with, when the population is beyond or above the carrying capacity. Okay. So, logistic growth curve is observed in a setup. For example, if you have a paramecium and a daphnia, Ayan. So, these are aquatic organisms. So, they demonstrate logistic growth curve. Kasi nga, for example, if you are in a test or in an experiment, na uubos na yung um, resources within that particular um, setup, na bodies of water, kaya na may maintain niya yung kanyang population uh, sa plateau level. Okay. Meron namang tinatawag na geometric population growth when population growth is described over discrete time intervals. Okay? So, kung tinitinan mo, for example, this is, uh, we set this as 5 years, 10 years, ayan. So, tinitingnan mo yung points. Okay? So, ang ano lang dito is that may time interval, it could be year, depending on, um, the life cycle of the organisms that you are actually checking. Okay? So, pwede maging J curve to, pwede maging S, depending on the time that is being included in checking the population growth. So, that is geometric population growth. Okay. So, aside from population growth, meron din tayong tinatawag na life table. So, an age-specific summary of the survival pop, um, populi, of a population. So, best constructed by the following fate of a cohort. So, cohort is a group of subjects who have shared particular event together during a particular time span. So, ang cohort, itinatawag din dynamic life table. Okay? So, dynamic life table. Kasi meron different classes of um, life table. So, isa lang pong um, life table na example ay cohort but we will discuss in the previous slides the different types of life table. So, cohort or the dynamic life table. So, paano ba siya ginagawa? Okay? Paano ba ginagawa ang cohorts? So, if, for example, if you have X here, that's the number of years. Okay? So, if you have the N with the number of individuals in the population, okay, and then you have the LX, for example, that's the increase, okay, yan, increase of, um, of, uh, the number of individuals, chinecheck niya. So, do you have also here how to compute that one based on the number of individuals, uh, present in the population with this specific age, yan, meron ka rin, um, percentage, kumbaga, na nakukuha. Okay? So, how to construct that one, you have this different functions. Okay. So, another type of life table, aside from cohort, you have dynamic composite life table. So, cohort of individuals born over several periods of time. So, in this case, it's we are not looking on to the number of years, but the the factor that is being highlighted in this type life table is you have the year counting by year counting. So there is now the um, specific year, kumbaga, succeeding years on the increase or number of individuals. So you have the number of years, for example, survived and ilan yung population per year. Okay? So, that is dynamic composite life table. Okay? Meron namang tinatawag na time-specific life table. Sa time-specific life table, 
It is constructed by sampling the population in some manner to obtain the distribution of age classes during a single peri time period. Okay, so it, this is used to obtain the distribution of age classes during a single period of time. So, for example, you have one year, but you have all here, it's not uh, actually the, the, the number of years, but you have already the um, age classes, my classes now, or the range, age range. So we have the age range, the number of sur surviving, um, number of surviving organisms, okay, and the proportion of that in the population. So ganin ang ang specific life table. So time specific life table. You have a single time period, but there is a function of the age classes or the age range. So, ang uh, time-specific life table are based on the assumptions. Okay? So, one assumption is uh, the sample uh, population uh, of each age class is, is in proportion to its number in the population. Okay? So, there is a real um, uh, number of age class and that the proportion of the age class in the population is um, uh, realistic. So another assumption is that the age-specific mortality rates and, and or birth rate have been constant over time. So ibig sabihin, um, the birth rate and the death rate is not a contributory factor to the changes in the proportion okay, or the changes in the population or life table. Um, kaya nabuo ang tinatawag na time-specific life table. Okay. So, those particular life table and, and, and um, life expectancy is based on the different types of um, survivorship curves. So for, uh, there are three types. So, you have type 1, low death rate in early and middle life but increase deeply as they old. Okay? So, for example, humans, we have uh, type 1, low death, rate, low death rate in early and middle life. And, okay? So, usually, sa, um, later age kasi, okay, kung nagbabago yung physiology, lower ang absorption of nutrients, mga ganyang klase, as part of the senility period, yung pa, and uh, as you go, uh, the factor of aging, kumbaga. Yan. So, na maintain naman dito ang low death rate, it is because of their, what we saw called, um, the care thing, or parental care, kumbaga, na mas maganda. Okay? Kaya, you will expect na medyo mababa ang death rate dito. Uh, in type 2, death rate is constant through the lifetime of the species. So, you will expect na pababa ng pababa siya as you go on to uh, its lifespan. Okay? And dito naman sa type 3, high early death rate which slows for those individuals who have survived in the early year age. So, biglang baba nung number of survivors. Ibig sabihin neto kasi, the organisms are very subjected, or the organisms is subjected to harsh environment at the same time subjected to an environment where there are a lot of predators that prevent the survival of the organism. So, that is type 3. So, yung survivors niya bumababa, okay, sa percentage, biglang baba. Okay, abrupt decrease on the number of survivors. Okay, dahil po yun sa harsh environment, dahil sa harsh condition na meron, yung population na yun. But this is very true to lower forms of animals, but they try to cope up with this type of um, survivorship curve by having high fecundity. Ibig sabihin, um, nagpoproduce sila ng maraming offspring. Okay? So, parang adaptation na rin nila na um, since we are in a harsh environment, we need to um, maintain our generation or maintain our species to prevent extinction. So, we need to produce high number of offsprings um, than the usual, okay? So have a, a, you know, although minimal, but very, uh, uh, may nagso-survive pa rin within their 
population.